In this video, we're going to be looking at implementing a node class in C++. So the node class is going to be one part of our linked list implementation. The other part is really where we get into the, the linked list in and of itself. So the, the node class is going to allow us to create these nodes, which are really the components of a linked list. And the nodes will encapsulate some sort of data. So if we're dealing with a contact, it may be their name, uh, their first name, their last name, their email, their address, their phone number, whatever it may be. And we'll have a pointer, and that pointer will be capable of referencing other nodes. We have to have a mechanism to, to link or chain these nodes together. But it will be the, the linked list class, which is not today's video, but another video, in which we'll actually write the operations for being able to add nodes to our linked list, to be able to traverse our linked list. So if we want to print something out or find a particular node, uh, whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and go over to Eclipse and implement our node class. Okay, so I'm over in Eclipse now, and I've already created a project called Contact List here. So we're going to be creating a, a contact link list. And the first thing that we need to do is create a header file to represent our node class. And we'll go ahead and right click on the contact list and go New, Header File, and we'll call our header file just contact. So contact.h is going to be the name of the file, and go ahead and click on Finish. So now that we have that, we need to do a couple of pound includes. So we'll do a pound include for IO stream, and we'll also do a pound include for the string class. So we'll do the string class as well. And now we're ready to go in and actually create uh, the class itself. So we'll say class, and the name of the class is going to be contact. So the first thing that we'll do inside the class is just simply write a declaration for friend function for overloading the insertion operator. So if you haven't watched some of my earlier videos when I talked about developing a class or writing a class, you may want to go back and watch those. And I'll try to put a link to some of those earlier videos that may be helpful for this video uh, in the description. So we need to have friend here, std colon colon o stream ampersand and then operator insertion. Since we're going to be overloading the insertion operator, then std colon colon o stream ampersand OS is going to be the name that I associate with the OStream object. And then we'll pass in by constant uh, reference uh, our, con our contact value. So we have contact being passed in by reference. And we'll just name it uh, C. So that's just simply a function prototype. And then we'll define a public area here. So public colon. And in the public area, we'll have our constructor. So our constructor is going to be really simple. It's just going to be contact open print std colon colon and the only thing that we're going to associate with a contact is a name just like we had in our example for a linked list so we'll say string here name and we'll also have it stand in as a, a default constructor so we'll assign a value here of maybe I don't know none uh, depends on what you want to have there is a default value for the name of your contact so we have our public area, and then we'll come in and, and write our, our private area as well. So we have a private area here for our private data members. And associated with the private data members, we'll have obviously a name. So we'll do std string name. And then we'll also have a pointer here. So we, again, we have to have a link associated with our node. So again, this is a node class that we're trying to define here for a contact link list and our nodes have to be able to reference other contact nodes. So we have to have a pointer of the appropriate type. So this is a contact pointer, and we'll call it next. So that's just the convention in terms of what we call the link pointer. So I want to be able to point to the next thing in the link list. So this is all we need for right now for our header file. And again, you could go in and define more data associated with a contact. So for right now, we only have a name, but you could specify additional data members here for you know, an email address. And you could break it down to first name, last name, telephone number, a lot of information there. Uh, but again, you have to have the data, and you have to have some sort of link there that's going to be able to allow you to reference point to another node. So let's go ahead and go in and, and create our CPP file. So I'll go ahead and go over here back to our project, right click on it, go to new, and specify a source file. And we'll do contact.cpp. And this is going to be a fairly short file. So inside of the contact.cpp file, the first thing we need to do is do a pound include. So we'll do pound include uh, of our header file. So that's just simply contact.h. So we'll have that. 
And then we'll start doing our, well, I guess we need to do using, let's see, using namespace standard is typically what we do here. So those are okay to do using namespace standard inside of our CPP files, just not a good idea inside the header files. Okay, so before I write the constructor, let me get save my work uh, since if we're going to be making use of the auto completion feature in Eclipse, I need to make sure that I have that header file saved, otherwise it won't show anything in the, the drop down list whenever we try to do auto completion. So we'll go ahead and do uh, contact, colon, colon, and then we're going to be using the constructor there. We need to have a string, and I'm going to just use the, the variable in there for the name being passed in to our constructor. So the name of our contact. And I'm also going to be using an initializer list. So I'll have a colon here. And what we need to do is just simply initialize our data member. So we need to initialize the data member name uh, with the value that was passed in or the string that was passed into in there in the constructor. And then we'll have a comma. And then we also need to initialize our pointer for next. So a next is going to just simply be initialized to uh, null. And then we won't have to do anything in terms of the body of the constructor. We can just have a, an empty body, an open brace, and a close brace. So the only other thing that we need to define here inside of the CPP file is the overloaded insertion operator. So we know that uh, with overloading the insertion operator, we need to return an OStream object by reference so that we can do chaining. So we'll have OStream ampersand here, and then we're overloading the insertion operator. So we'll have operator, and then what operator we're overloading. And then we need to pass in a reference to the OStream object, and then we need to pass in by constant reference a reference to our contact that we're interested in actually outputting. So we'll say OStream here, ampersand, and we'll just call it OS, and then by constant reference we'll pass in our uh, contact, and we'll just call it C. And then here inside the body we'll just simply have one statement, and it'll just be a return statement in which we return OS insertion, and then have a string literal for maybe name, since that's the only thing we really want to print out. And then we'll do insertion operator and then do C dot name. And that's it. That's all we need to have inside of the CPP file. So this only defines our node class. It does not actually define our linked list class. We have another class that we need to define, and I'll do that in another video. We could try to compile this, and maybe I will try to compile it, but since we haven't defined a main, it's going to complain about a main not existing. So let me go ahead and try to build this to see if we get any other errors, errors that may exist. And it looks like it built okay, other than it just doesn't have a, a reference to main. All right, so that's it for this video.